I'll tell you later. <laughs> We're on. Is it on? Yeah. Okay. We're live. Good evening. Welcome to the planning board meeting of May 23rd, 2018. Rob will be out today, so I am filling in. And our members today, happy day. We have a brand new member, Yay. Joanne Laub. And um, welcome. Thank you. I've been very patiently waiting for another female, <laughs> and this is the day. <laughs> Bob, I think, was surrounded. Harry, <laughs> Harry Lacatelia, Bob Watts, and our planner, John Cassell. I'll make a uh, looking for a motion for minutes, April oh, 25th. Um, Madam Chairperson. Madam Chairperson, is that right? Was did I say that right? You could call me Tilly. Okay, Tilly. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to make a motion, if you'll hear it, to approve the minutes of April twenty fifth, two thousand and eighteen. Any second? Second. Very good. Any amendments? Um, Any questions? Yes, yes, there is one that I saw, um, and it would be on line number seven. Um, it states that uh, you were here, Tilly, and um, I think if you look at all the votes, you'll see that the motions are four to zero with one absent, and I believe that absence was yours. That's right. So uh, that would be the one correction strike, the word Tilly, of it, words Tilly Evangelista from the... Members present. You got it. Thank you, Harry. After that, I, I didn't what really page see Page that, Harry? Uh, that, that's page, page one, page one. Um, line number seven. Got it. And uh, after that, I, I, I didn't see anything other than that. Ready to vote? Bob, you have any questions? No, I'm good. Okay. Okay, have a vote. All those in favor? All those in favor. Aye. 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 <laughs> One abstain. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am abstaining because I wasn't present at the meeting. So, makes sense. You too. Me too. So, so I abstain too. I guess. Yeah, two is uh, two abstain and two supporting it. Yes. I'm glad that doesn't mean a super majority to pass. We do because we're present. We've got a quorum. Cool. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. We have some vouchers. Yes. Um, Andrew wanted me to explain that um, in in accordance with the staple uh, vouchers. Uh, all three are together, and that's how the um, finance director um, likes to process them, so they're not all broken out. Even though all the all the um, invoices are included. Okay. Okay, um, Madam Chairperson, I move to approve the voucher for Staples, Staples Office Supplies in the amount of ninety-one eighty dollars and eighty-two cents, sixty-six dollars twenty-seven cents, and fifty-four dollars and five cents. In our packets and as cited uh, on this meeting's agenda. Second, Madam Madam Chairperson, for a total of 2012-14. We better go with Tilly. 212-14. 212-14. Is that what I said? I didn't say that right. 2000, didn't you? But I said 2000. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 200. 12. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. The next one is BSC. I have a motion. Madam Tilly, I move to approve the voucher for uh, BSG Group de Varga Technical Review of Palmer Lane, $4,942 in our packets and decided in the meeting's agenda. Yeah, thank you. Second? No? I'm recused from this, if you recall. Because this is Palmer, Palmer Lane. Lane. I was recused from the whole. Okay, thing. Chris. Uh, Can I second? Yes. I second. So Any questions about it? Uh, John, did you have a comment? Um, no, the only comment I, I wanted to make um, is that, it, as you can see, it, it was a bill that was uh, dated, but um, we just recently received it. So, yeah. Sure, we didn't pay it, pay it no, before, we, right? No. Okay. So, is there enough money in the M account to cover that? Um, it, there will be, um, or else. <laughs> There's plenty in the surety account. There's can't use that. We no, use the you account. can't use yeah. that. But you know, yeah, they want to complete the project and continue selling okay. houses and carrying on with their business. You know, we'll make 
Sure. Okay. We usually keep a, an ongoing balance. Yeah. 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 Okay. We do. But that, that issue will be uh, resolved. They'll yeah. Just have to add more money to it. Yeah, uh, Chris, that's our Joey. I'm calling you Chris. See, I know your husband before you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, do you have any questions about this, Phil? Because this is the um, consultant that reviews the developments. Gotcha. Okay. And BSC is for Palmer Lane. Are we ready to vote? I'm ready. All in He's favor? Not in this. Aye. I'm ready to abstain. Okay. Nicely. One abstain. Go ahead. Ready to vote? Yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Aye. So we got three yeses. One abstain. Please let the record show I, I'm abstained. And one from absent. That. <laughs> and there's one more on the top of page two. I move to approve the voucher for reimbursement to administrative assistant for Adobe software upgrade. For the purpose of file conversions from PDF formats to Microsoft Word formats, in the amount of twenty-three dollars and eighty-eight cents. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. It's like a well-oiled well machine. You notice that? It's just smooth. Yeah. All right. For reference, in the future, there's a program that's free. It's called. Uh, um, Open office mm -hmm. and it'll do that conversion. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. We had a heck of a time doing. Did you? Yeah, this, this it, it was a uh, stormwater the MS4. Oh, yeah, the MS4. Report, and the, all the previous copies are in uh, PDF. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we could not find a word copy anywhere, so um, it did convert, you know, in its entirety. So that was. That was um, a good thing, saving a lot of time. So the two past years of which we did not submit reports will be finished on Monday in all likelihood and submitted. Outstanding. If, yeah. if, if I may ask, what, what, what's, what's happening with this year's? This what's year? that, a whole new notice of intent? Yeah. Is my understanding? Yeah. And they're going to be due in October. October. So, yeah. We'll have plenty of time to um, fill that one out. Now, does that have to go before the Conservation Commission? For the notice of intent? Uh, yeah. Conservation, Pete, you know, everybody's involved with mm -hmm. right. the health. The recommendations. Everybody's got to add their data from the previous year and what's been going on and what's been permitted. Each year it seems to be more in depth. Mm -hmm. So it probably is more in depth. It two is. years. Yeah. This is this phase two of the whole thing and it is getting yeah. more involved. So MS4 is. They have an inter department meeting, <laughs> get everybody on board. Absolutely. Don't do that by yourself. I bet a lot of communities are probably working on it. They're yeah. probably all trying MS4 to get together. MS4 is on it. the municipal drainage. The federal government is requiring gotcha. a plan be in place for each community. Gotcha. And um, they've been doing this for some. A long time. Yeah. yeah 10, 11 been, years, 12 years. And it, you got to, you're, you know, I'm surprised they're not giving us a penalty for not. They might. They might. Still, still out. They're getting tighter and tighter and stricter and stricter. Yeah, yeah, I started looking into it, and of the 351 communities, only 34, you know, yeah. outstanding. So, so. Yeah, yeah. They're after us. You keep on top of it, Joe. <laughs> okay. Are, are, you, are you driving that process? No, yeah. Can, is that all right? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to get it done. Right. Then, we'll, then we'll straighten it out later. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <coughs> well, I'd like to see what uh, what our uh, goals were for 2016-17. See how onerous those goals were. I, I know we've hit a lot of the, we hit a lot of the bullet points. Yeah. We did. I mean, and a lot of it is redundant after mm. you've been doing it mm. year after year after year. Mm. So. I mean, one good thing is that uh, the town has a long history of getting the, 
that stormwater report in. Yeah. Getting it done. So. The goals weren't that grandiose. Interesting. Uh, you know, and everybody's been practicing best management practices <laughs> with everything. So that's the most important thing. Yeah. I mean, they even do that in New Hampshire. Yeah. I think we've been having all the bells. Their, MS, <laughs> their MS4 stuff is um, just coming into being this year. So, yeah, Isn't Southern yeah. New Hampshire Southern New and Hampshire. Yeah. us all sort of in one? Well, Southern New Hampshire now or something. Is, okay. they, you know, they're a, they're a phase two yep. stormwater. Cool. Cool. All right, next on our agenda is the correspondence. We got something from the town of Raleigh. Yeah. CBA, a special permit. Uh, located at 77 Railroad Ave. The Governor's Academy is doing something in Newbury. Uh, yeah. And um, another one from Raleigh. The Town Hall, second floor. We're going to have a meeting for a lot, multi zoned, a Newburyport Turnpike. I, I think they already held that meeting. It was on the 16th. I guess I did. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions about it? That's, that's no. basically our uh, next can on I, the agenda. Can I we'll just ask, uh, do we ever get any notifications from Boxford? Yeah. We do? Yeah. Yeah. Quite a few, actually. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Now, um, what, what, what until we asked me a people? question about a development that is taking place uh, yeah. in Boxford, we had a joint meeting with the uh, Bicycle Path Committee last night, and there was... Um, a representative from Boxford there and um, I asked her briefly about that and, mm -hmm. uh, she was aware of it but we were, we were running so late into the night so that, yeah um, I, I did ask her if I could follow up with her so I'm not dropping that I'll find out what the story is the one yeah. in the the senior housing yeah the aqua yeah. Yeah. follow up on good yeah I Great. never heard of a, a district for the elderly labeled senior <laughs> elderly district I mean it's it's almost with all this talk about we've had lately about gender and whatnot mm. now we have an elderly district <laughs> you mean you can't be uh, under a certain age to live there what is <laughs> I know I think it'd be safe if it's, if it's everyone district you know absolutely it's where I, the old people go to I die just, where did this come from? <laughs> well, we have a senior that's housing called a cemetery. bylaw. We have a senior housing bylaw. Right next door. <laughs> that's different. I mean, that's a building that's senior housing, so you can understand that. I, mean, I think yeah, that's what sure. the, that's But the whole district? The whole district. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, you can't buy that house. <laughs> that's right. You're not 55 or old. People are always coming up with new ideas. I doubt it'll be houses. <laughs> and if they pass muster, <laughs> it will be, senior it will get be enacted. <laughs> townhouses. Okay. It's a condo bylaw. That's what all it is. All right, we're moving along. So now we're on the uh, town meeting. Um, on this staff report, um, you know, I, I threw this on the agenda as an, an item. If we did want to review what took place um, last week, town meeting, everything did pass. Um, that included the um, zoning ordinance uh, for the recreation, so called recreational um, marijuana bylaw. Um, the town did vote in the acceptance as public ways, the three roadways associated with Turning Leaf uh, Lane subdivision. Uh, we did succeed in better defining continuous building area. It was a little contentious, but we got through it and we got the two thirds vote we needed. And then we have the open space residential development, um, which we spent a lot of time on last year um, with a little confusion that got through too. Thank God. Uh, Harry, thank God that's yeah. fixed. Yeah, yeah, really, and uh, and it did get the amendment passed also. Mm. Um, and then the last one was mixed use. That was the um, allowing for uh, residential units above the first floor, commercial, mm -hmm. and um, surprisingly that went through without really any discussion. It's for the uh, CB district exclusively. Right. So, and in, in regard to that one, we'll probably have a project come in. Pretty soon for the CVS Plaza, they want to convert the up uh, second floor commercial into residential. Mm -hmm. No expansion of the building, so it'd be all within the same footprint. Um, but um, other than that, we did get through everything. All of the form sevens, I, I cited that in the staff report. 
everything's complete, delivered to Tom Clark, and she sent them off to the AG's office already. That was um, done yesterday, I believe, or the day yeah. before. That's great. Yeah. So now the clock starts, 90 days? Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they do have the provision for an extension of 90 days if they need it. Mm -hmm. So, and that was spelled out with mm -hmm. um, the email from Jonathan Eichmann, mm -hmm. Attorney Eichmann. I just had that quick question that I cited in the staff report, and he came back with the paragraph of answers. Oh. So that's, yeah. in, the, that's in the first page of that report. Yeah. Um, did find a couple of typos. <laughs> I'm sure you guys did too. Yes. Um, we can look now, at you know what? This staff report did have a, have a little bit of confusion. You know, it started off with Article 23, and we were um, double paging the, the printing. Oh, somehow or other, um, this page three of the copy came out on page two, if you caught that error. But this is, we'll start off, I guess, with Article 23, and that was the uh, Recreational Marijuana Bylaw. And the first page is fine. You get into the second page, and it's talking about the, um, um, the styrofoam. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. So, and you slip down the page and then you pick up um, Article 23 again. It's bold print marijuana, mm. recreational marijuana. And then that staff report is copacetic after that. But if you do see on the page uh, number 13 of 38 in that staff report just at the beginning, um, subsection B, delineation, the marijuana business overlay district is delineated and um, it says on shown the official zoning map and that should read as shown. Huh? yeah is delineated as shown on the official zoning map and then there was another one further in uh, distance in linear foot that should be feet so mm -hmm. uh, that was the only those were the only two um, editorials if I that's had. the bad if that's the worst we did yeah, that's pretty I good. Know. I, I, I do have a question about it though. How now, and probably a question for Joanne for her benefit as well as ours. Um, this got changed. Um, so many things have changed. Um, Joanne can't really even go on the town meeting on the calendar. Uh, excuse me, on the town website and pull up the e code. Uh, she won't even see the, the original me medical marijuana. It's it needs that update. Yeah. Um, while we're waiting for that update to occur through the board of selectmen or yeah. however it gets done, um, do we actually have a copy of up to date yeah. as of today? Yes. All the all the amendments. That's what I compiled last year. Okay. All of the amendments that were passed by the town since the last time the E code was correct. Twenty eleven. Yeah. So everything's been compiled. Okay. Building inspector has it. I have copies. I didn't dish those out to you guys. No. All right, I'm gonna do that then. But I have everything. So those are the amendments. Yeah. That's what will need to be sent to E code. Yeah. So that they they, can... ha they do have everything except for what was just not passed. Right. So you know, we got so late into the season last year. It only made sense knowing that we had so many zoning ordinances to pass this spring to, um, you know, let's wait, get it all done. That's the excuse we use every year. So <laughs> we use that excuse every single year because there's always another town meeting. Yeah. How you know, now typically. Been hearing it since 2011. <laughs> typically in a town budget, it, it, it's about $1,500. That's a, a maintenance charge to update your zoning ordinance year in and year out. So that really has to be a consistent line item. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you, right. you, you get into the situation that we're in now. That has is to be Is that something we should put in our budget? Yes. Just I because think, that I way it's so. there? Yeah. I think we, should, um, we have you, the you money. Know, you know, the one way we could do it is that um, at the end of the year, you know, there should be a surplus when all the funds are um, sent back in. Sure. Redistributed. We really should um, uh, formulate a letter and present it to the board at the next meeting to forward to the uh, board of selectmen like recommending that. I mean, it really has to be done. We had a cost estimate in the five to six thousand dollar range that would take care of the problem for the previous few years. Okay. Um, you know, it might go up a little bit, 
because of all these other ordinances, mm -hmm. it's a substantial page pages of uh, amendments that have to be incorporated into the zoning ordinance. So, um, say another fifteen hundred. So you're talking anywhere from six to seven thousand that needs to be um, allocated for that project. Right. But this this new mar uh, marijuana bylaw mm -hmm. replaces the medical. Yep. Yep. And that would be a substantial amount that would have to come out. So there's no point in them putting that in only yeah. to take it out. Mm -mm. So the, the other thing is, too, as long as we send them everything in word, which we now can do, mm -hmm. you know, that reduces the cost because they, then they're just cutting and splicing from, you know, mm -hmm. our communication into their system. I think that's a good idea, but I, I would prefer doing that right off. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is, yeah. no, it's got to be, it's got to be a priority right now it, because, um, nobody can get a copy of what really is up to date right right and, and they, i mean and they can't even look on the computer no. so yeah. and isn't that public information that's um, right we can't be distributing it well, and it's hot information yeah. i mean people people <laughs> you jump said on people it. knocking in the door yeah yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you know i mean what happens in planning too you always have an attorney that's doing research on mm. a subdivision that was approved 20 years ago, and they have to find out what was on the books 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. So historical data is just as important. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, we say our town code is historic, but <laughs> not everyone agrees with me. You know, I mean, say worse came to worse, worst case scenario, um, we would have to maintain it in-house. Um, I would say let's do it. I the mean, last we, time we did that was with Sarah Buck, and Larry Graham and Sarah Buck went out of sync. And that's that, that's serious data management. Absolutely. And absolutely. Do we want to hire somebody to do that? No, I don't. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. No, it's just general code. They yeah. they're, they're universal the universal really throughout the country. Yeah. They do it for everybody. Right. Right. <laughs> How about a motion to get it this moving? That would be what great. would you recommend? A, a like a letter or um, a know, letter to the okay. board of selectmen? Well, we could to make we this could happen, inform them that, you know if they would prefer doing it. We we need this. This Cite, is cited as a high priority. Yes, of, um, definitely. You know, uh, work that needs to be done. Mm -hmm. you know, we will take it out of our budget if necessary, but this has got to be done. Yeah. If you could be, you know, put a strong letter to it. Yeah. We've. We can't take a risk like the town can't take a risk like right. that. No, I mean sooner or later. I mean, some developer's going to come in here with about forty thousand dollars worth of plans, <laughs> or something that we don't have anymore. And right. It's on our website. <laughs> yep. That little disclaimer. Can you make a motion so we can I, make I would, this official? I would, I would make a motion. Um, I would make a motion that we. Um, have John craft a letter to the effect that um, we want the Board of Selectmen to recognize that this is of the highest priority and that uh, we're willing to use whatever residual funds we have at the end of the year from our own budget to um, be dedicated towards ameliorating the cost. Mm -hmm. Second. Is that basically? Yeah, I got it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're ready for a vote. Absolutely. Aye. 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 Okay. Unanimous. Thank you. All right. Okay. Put now. that one to rest. Please. <laughs> well, you've done all the work already anyway, so. <laughs> and now that we have a program to right. deliver it in, in Word. Right. Anything else about the town meeting? We, did you get to hit, talk to Harry about the visual? I thought yes. yeah, I did, did right he? before this meeting. Oh, okay. PowerPoint. <laughs> so did, maybe we'll do PowerPoints next time. Yeah. <laughs> you did do. Just tell me yes or no. Did you do a PowerPoint or not? I we did many many PowerPoints. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I remember Dave Surface used to say his kids used to say, "Oh, is that Mr. PowerPoint?" <laughs> 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 yeah. We we did them for years and years. Yeah. Okay. You know you don't get. You don't get the pushback as much over the last couple of years of doing PowerPoints, but for a while people were really burnt out on them. Uh, yeah. And don't no, no more PowerPoints. Yeah. But yeah. 
that now people aren't complaining as much. When you have a lot of data, charts, maps, oh, yeah. things like that. Well, the it's maps helpful. I it think is helpful. really, yeah. really good on the yeah. PowerPoint. What, what made it difficult for this last town meeting is I was talking to Harry about it. It was just so long, twenty-seven articles, mm -hmm. and we we would have been there till one o'clock in the morning if we got hung up in presentations. And I know. I think it was pretty much past. Most of the people's bedtime. It was past mine. It was past mine. All right. So the next thing for discussion is there are annual fees. Now, um, if you want me to lead off this, sure. start, start it. Um, this is one of those things you, you have to be reading the zoning ordinance to okay. you know, realize that you have to review your annual fees. You can waive it. You know, that's within the uh, staff report, and that's within the provisions of the zoning. This planning board could waive um, the review, the annual review, if it wanted to. Um, but the intent of this evening is to have that discussion, and if you had a chance to review um, that particular section of the zoning ordinance, which was attached to the, um, the uh, staff report, um, if you see within or you know, have any suggestions tonight to tinker with any of um, those annual, uh, not annual, but uh, fee, fees for subdivision, site plan, special permits. Um, you know, we can start that discussion. Any formal changing um, of the numbers requires um, a publication notice and a public hearing of the planning board. Um, what we do need to do is incorporate, if you read through the marijuana bylaw, we do have to um, incorporate a fee structure um, specific to the uses that will be coming at us. So um, what I would suggest in that regard, that we would treat um, the marijuana permit requirements and costs as we would any other special permit and site plan. So we'll keep it simple. Mm -hmm. So if we're not going to change any of the um, fees that are involved, that what we need to do is have a public hearing um, setting up the marijuana fees and that they would um, simply replicate the requirements for a site plan and special permit fees. And that would be one way to um, take care of this. So it would have to be an well, we, Either way, we have to hold a public hearing to do yeah. it. Yeah, we do. What about for, um, would we have to change the fee structure for or create a fee structure for um, the mixed use district now? That's special um, permit too, right? Um, that would be still special permit and site plan, and that's General. all based on square footage. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and we do have the, you know, it does require um, permitting, special permit by the planning board. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. So those, those those fees are already taken. Those care are, of. that's good enough. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I looked at the fees, and they, you know, they look up to date. They, mm -hmm. they did them in like, 2011, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. That was a big year. Oh, yeah. And, and I noticed on that, that uh, 91 law <laughs> for the docks and the, on the Great Ponds, there's a permit required there mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. So that could be added to the fees. Yeah. Hopefully we won't get any, but. Is that a permit <laughs> yeah, we or have, a recommendation? We, have, we do have a dock coming in. Oh. <laughs> Is that a permit or a recommendation that we make? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a recommendation. It's a recommend. we, we're not issuing yeah. um, a permit. Oh, you're not. No, somehow or other, this is the craziest thing, because locally they still need to get conservation approval. Right, because it's near the water. Sure. But the DEP designated, or DS designated, the planning boards, local planning boards, as the reviewing uh, body for the state permit aspects. Uh -huh. for docks and piers and that's spelled out everybody now has a copy of the page one and two yeah i lost okay. it though i don't know what happened to i'll it. send it to you again but it you know in that one letter two page letter it explains the whole process and then i read through the law and it's conducive to the law well we don't hold a public hearing it's a quasi uh public hearing no no notices are sent out on our part the mm -hmm. applicant for the dock or pier, that person is assigned the task of publishing um, in a local paper of circulation mm -hmm. in a timely manner, such as we would have to do. But it's the applicant that has to do that. 
Mm-hmm. And um, then if any letters of concern um, are involved or are submitted to the planning board, we mm-hmm. are to read those into the record. Um, if anybody shows up, we're to you know listen to what their concerns are. And then uh, if we want to, as a planning board, we could submit comments to the state or not. And if 45 days passes without them receiving comments, then it's considered, you know, no but objection. Are, are we supposed to be into the construction of it? No. We just to look at it? And... I think with the flag. What do we look for? I think with the flag. We're, we're just the local. They, they don't want to have to do it. Right. So they assigned us to do it. I got that. But then, <laughs> but then the Conservation Commission still has to do their thing because they have jurisdiction over well, there's there's pages and pages on the computer, you know. Yeah, I don't. They have a, I don't know why they wanted to double up on the local effort. Yeah, you know, right. the two boards involved when you know you do Just have get it a, off their get it off their plate. Yeah. Yeah. But you do have a water oriented expert body that reviews things. Well, the gist of it, what I could, and I could be all wrong, but what I could get out of it, which, like I said, is like fifteen pages is that on the Great Pond, it, it can't be uh, any more than 600 square feet. And the intent is to prevent any other boats from interfering with it. Or I should say it the other way, the dock shouldn't interfere with any of the boats navigating the boats. So that's, that's about all I could. And then I thought, well, are we to see if it's Structurally sound? Do we need an engineering? Anything like that? I mean, the, the, the plans, as you read the, the sketch plans, you know, they can't, these docks, piers can't be greater than 600 square feet. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, that, that was. Uh, Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, that was, that was what I was uh, concerned with. So we'll have so, our first example, um, our next meeting. Yeah. <laughs> I already wrote the staff report for it. it. What happened was he didn't advertise ah. the person that was coming for it in a timely manner. So we had, and then he was going to be on vacation um, tonight. So we put it he, off until the 13th. He, he just has to advertise. He doesn't need to send letters to a butters and all that. Um, that's, I think that's part of the process too. Um, <laughs> they, or they pick up notice by reading the local paper. When does that 45-day clock start uh, for the that, DP? That w- the 45 days After we hold starts, the public meeting? Um, yes. Okay. It's either that or it's in receipt of oh. the application, because we do have to move on it. Oh. Yeah. When did we get it? <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll, I heard it all out. The staff report already includes it, but I didn't. Um, read in preparation yeah. for tides. That doesn't sound right because it, we could receive it, it may, and they could just drag their feet on the notice notification for forty days. Yeah. How you done? Right, right. It's kind of crazy. Well, we should. We really should, uh, just like it looked, just like the twenty one. We shouldn't really stamp it as the planning board oh, received it not. until we yeah. have a meeting. Yeah. The other thing, it would really have been nice for them to, you know, offer, you know. Yeah. An opportunity to comment on this or let us know what they were doing and we could have offered comment and probably straightened this yeah, out. Yeah, but then we might have complained. Yeah. Uh, that, but how did it end up with the plan, uh, with the planning board to decide on something like this? <coughs> the, the only rational sense it would be the Conservation Commission. Exactly. The only thing I could think of would be the construction. <coughs> that's, that's our thing. Yeah, but we don't. We would not oversee typo. construction or something like that. That would be the building department. If, if the building department exactly, had but we would need to see the yeah. some kind of plans he's correct. going to come in with, right? Yeah, but the, you, you saw the letter. They only yeah. have to hand draw. They, this does not involve because these are small structures. This does not involve somebody having to hire an engineer, structural yeah. engineer, to design this. Yeah. You, the property owner, can do this all by yourself, designing it on a napkin. That's what it. That's what it calls for. Wow. Oh wow. <laughs> this is this. This is an oddball thing that 
you know, basically uh, came down from on high. Mm -hmm. That was his responsibility. In, in, in 20, 20 and years ago, we don't know. In 20 years ago, anybody who had owned property on a pond could put up a dock. You know, it was just the thing. You know, you know what docks do besides giving people, uh, you know, a comfortable way to get into their boat. Um, they're great areas for bass to hang out. If you ever go bass fishing, that's mm. where you catch them is underneath the dock. So they're great habitat for um, the, um, yeah. the fish. The fish. You know, so, mm -hmm. you know, other than yeah. people falling off them or whatever, it's not really... Got a splinter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's not much government involvement that should yeah. be really involved with something like this. It, you know, but well, we're, we're beyond that scope of... <clears throat> Well, well, I'm sure it'll be taxed. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. There we go. Value added tax. <laughs> we have to know what's out there. The dock tax. The money maker. <laughs> not not to go totally retrograde on what we were talking about, but to, just to roll back to the fees. So uh, we we need to actually have a hearing for the fee structure. For any changes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For, for any change. changes, and the and the one change we definitely have to incorporate is the uh, marijuana issue and that's just to um, specify as, as it's specified in the bylaw we have to create a, a fee structure specific to I'll, I'll make a motion to authorize uh, the town planner to um, publish a public hearing notice for um, review of the fees for the annual regulation review. annual review be regulations. Any second? I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 That was easy. Yes. Jeepers. Huh? Will the public come to the meeting? Um, sure. Yeah. Everything is public here. They do sometimes. <laughs> they, they don't. There may be people watching TV. Yeah, yeah. they'll be coming to <laughs> make sure that we don't go too high. Uh, <laughs> or get too high with, with the space. <laughs> Uh, God, there's too many puns with that whole really, issue. Really, really. It's a slippery slope. I mean, yeah. it's never and you know, all this work might go up in smoke. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll hash that out We're later. not going to let it do yeah. that. On, well, on, stop it, Paul. Uh, stop. <laughs> God, you guys. <laughs> on another note, Healthy Farms is open, is my understanding. I heard. Yep. yep. Healthy Farms. Back in business. Yeah. In business. Okay. Are, are, are we going to get 3% three, three percent, right? Go Healthy Farms? Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't we? They're not sure where that money goes. It, well, it's in. It, 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 I don't mean we personally. No, but it's in accordance with the um, provisions of the law. The host agreement. We right? acquire the funds. In, That's in, the host in accordance with the host agreement. The host was, agreement. Yeah. But the host agreement has an amendment bill for the grandfathering the existing one. I don't know. Therefore, maybe it'll pass, maybe it won't. I don't know. Logical that if you need an amendment to correct where the money is going, then in that bill it tells you exactly where it goes for the expense of marijuana to the town. Or it was vague. It's only in accounting. In it's, there's some accounting. Absolutely. DOR needs their, so uh, let's get their fingers on it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so, are, are we going to do, um, um, what is it, member or public concern? Member sure. Concern? That's next. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Member of, uh, what is your concerns? Um, two years ago, uh, we, well, remember we were talking about the MS4. Mm -hmm. And part of the, one of the very first MS4s was an initiative where uh, towns were asked to uh, adopt erosion control bylaws. Uh, we did so. <coughs> um, uh, two years ago, John, before you came, um, the bylaw that we had adopted uh, spoke and gave authority to the permitting board for that to uh, promulgate regulations. Um, the CONCOM was the one that handled all those. They never did come up with any regulations after about nine years. So um, we went to town meeting and we had uh, the permitting authority be changed to our board. Um, that was about two years ago. I think it was 2016. 
I'm sure you saw that in the amendments that you had anyway. Yeah, that's right, yeah. right there. And um, but now it seems like um, it's one of those things where it's not a very sexy topic and it seems to always take a backseat to everything else. But we need to promulgate regulations. I mean, I'm not talking about a 300-page document, but there need to be regulations that go with that bylaw because that bylaw calls for us to promulgate regulations. And it's not too crazy right now. It's summertime. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I'd like to make a motion that um, we authorize the town planner to um, uh, post, uh, make notice for um, in, in a newspaper or general circulation to hold a hearing for uh, regulations for Chapter erosion. 57. That's right. Chapter 57, Erosion Control Bylaw. Oh, right. uh, a second. Um, do we want to do any review before a public hearing? Can we? Do it right in the public hearing. Cool. Transparency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's probably some great examples that are. Oh. There are. are yep. <coughs> Yeah, if I, I'll look for them. They were uh, sent to your predecessor's predecessor. Right. Nick. Yeah. No. 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 Howard. 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 And, and the CONCOM. At that time, I even sent it to the CONCOM before we got the bylaw change. <clears throat> it, it's pretty much, it's very similar to the yeah. wetland protection. Yeah. Yeah. Again, it's though, just the details um, of it. That's all. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's but again, nobody today would be excavating um, without doing the erosion control. Um, it'd be really foolhardy to try to pull that off. And and everybody, you have to do it. And our field engineers mm. um, are, are tasked with making sure it's, mm. it's yeah. done. If no. you have a pile of excavated soils just sitting out there and you don't have the silt fence around them and, or the hay bales, or, you know, what the appropriate erosion control measure is, <laughs> you know, we somebody had, shows up from EPA or DEP, you know. You're we the, had the problem yeah. with one of the developments. <clears throat> how, how many years ago was that? Not that long ago. You, you have the map up there right in that area. Railroad app. The, the bottom line is most of the time Concom handles that because it's near a wetland. You can't find a, too many parcels in this town that don't have a wetland. <laughs> but every now and then there is a parcel that there isn't a subject to a subdivision or site plan or Concom. Yeah. A lot of times, you know, it's not so much the developer, it's the subsequent homeowners. Mm -hmm. You know, well, sometimes sure. where, sure. you know, Railroad has a great example. There's a big drainage structure out there, mm. the head wall, and mm. it seems like it collects a lot of um, grass clippings and right. <coughs> yard waste. Absolutely. And else. I mean, you know, before you know it, you know, the drainage channel's filled in, and then the water backs up and disperses where it's not supposed to be going. And well, that area had a 21E <laughs> because that used to be repairing buses, yeah. school buses. Oh, yeah. So there was yeah. piles of the different kinds of that. sand and the gravel. Was, uh, yeah. The biggest violators of this stuff are beavers. Beavers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they never ask they for a permit. They big ponds where they're not supposed <laughs> to be. <laughs> well, they, the developer had piles, and, and he didn't cover them correctly. Mm. And uh, we had a terrific rain that weekend, and the neighbors were upset down the street to West Main Street, I guess all in that little area, out of Middle Street, is it those little middle? streets? It was yeah. washing right down into their yards, into the street. Mess. It, it was a total mess, our, a weekend. Yeah, our chairman has been working diligently over the last couple of months with the situation um, and working with the building inspector, straightening out a, a driveway construction project oh. that was spewing. Um, Mm -hmm. Siltation all over the place. That sh would have been captured by this. That's right. Yes. So with with that, I'd like uh, to do we get a second? Do we get a vote here? Did Bob, Bob seconded, right? Mm -hmm. So this is to have the public hearing yeah. for the um, Chapter Fifty Seven regulations. Right. Uh, and can I just say that that is when you're ready for it, John? Yeah. That's how I intended it. Yeah. It, when you're ready, when when you have what you need, and you're ready to pull the trigger. Yeah. You know, um, one thing I'm working on now that has a 
July 12th deadline is that um, grant sure. PA when you're ready RC, for the one you turned me on to and I went to the workshop cool yeah cool um, so that has to be done great yeah yeah when you're ready uh, just, just just loading the loading the gun made the mistake of driving into Boston you know an hour and 20 minutes later I came out of the meeting thirty two dollars <laughs> yeah <laughs> like ow. welcome welcome take the train Cambridge 42 every day <laughs> So we have a vote. Aye. 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 Thank you. Unanimous. Cool. Unanimous. Cool. Hmm. Right. Have you any other suggestions? Um, Discussions. Just that um, when when oh, yeah. Bob love to well, see a. I have two. Love to see those. Well, chapter one sixty five and. Up to 365. Yeah, that would be great. That would be very nice to have, um, you know, fresh, fresh copies of that. Is there a date on that? Right? Yeah, I have two offices. 2011. Yeah, 2011. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> uh, um, our chairman had mentioned that he was so doing the planners' <laughs> evaluations. Did did he do that? Well, who is this? Rob, he was going to, he mentioned it, didn't walk uh, out, so I don't know any more about it. Yeah, that was, say, two or three meetings ago. That, uh -huh. Yeah. Did you um, do it? I haven't talked to him about it. Okay. No. Well, are we going to get, uh, the rest of the members are going to get it? I hope so. Sheets? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I haven't talked to him in a long sheets. time. Yeah. yeah. And then we, we do it. Cool. So you've never had a three-month evaluation? That's usually the process. Okay. We'll get caught Okay, on. we'll make it a six month. Okay, we'll make it a year. Uh, okay, 18 months. Uh, and, and yeah, I, made it, I made it this far. Uh, it uh, and then my other question is, what was, <laughs> what was also mentioned was the uh, assistant now is full time. Yeah. Did, did a job description get yes. corrected? Yes, it did. Can we see that? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I uh, beefed that up. And, um, Great. Making sure that person is um, busy, busy. Wonderful. So that's my two things. Anything else? Are we ready to pack it up? I move. We adjourn. I second. We adjourn. Right. Meeting adjourned. Did we welcome Joe?